If you're here, then you're probably wondering why this... Oops, <laughs> sorry, wrong photo. You're probably wondering why this is a big deal. Well, it's all you're gonna hear about in mid-July, and it's all to do with this, this, and these. You see, the Farnborough Air Show isn't just a small air show with some fighter jets and low passes, it's home to these and these. But nobody really pays much attention to them. Anyways, the fun is over, and this is supposed to be educational. So, basically, $72 billion worth of orders were made in 2012 at the Farnborough Trade Show. Over 100,000 business people visited, as well as 100,000 members of the public. Now this is where Boeing and Airbus, as well as other manufacturers, announce what they're going to be working on and compete for orders with airlines. You see tech companies have CES, while aviation companies have the Farnborough Air Show. But the thing is, it's not just these that will be there, because these will also be there, which means they're looking for these. As well as commercial aircraft, military aircraft have a huge presence at the Farnborough Air Show. It's where the official defence delegations preferring a rather low profile come to observe the latest military hardware. One military aircraft which will be presented this year is the AV-8B Harrier, which can take off and land vertically, as well as the F-35. So, if you want a brand new aircraft, there's no question about it, you go to the Farnborough Air Show. Now, the Bombardier C-Series nearly failed due to testing being delayed, resulting in aircraft not being able to be showcased at the trade show. Now, this demonstrates the importance of the show, Furthermore, it only takes place every two years, so manufacturers race to get ready for it, and if they're late, then they'll have to go to the next air show which will be in Paris next year. But it's not just aircraft manufacturers that attend, Farnborough is also a place where hundreds of small subcontractors show their cutting edge technology or their latest widgets. And drones will be an interest of this year. Companies are finding innovative ways to use them from construction all the way to rescue missions. And I expect some companies will be presenting delivery drones for companies like Amazon. Now I'll be talking about predictions more in an upcoming video where I'll be making a really big announcement for aviation lovers. Now I'm going to post the announcement early on my Discord server, so if you join using the link below, you'll be first to know about it. Anyways captains, let me know what your thoughts are and what your predictions will be for the Farnborough Air Show. Have a great day guys, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.